You ask for things not in a denial of the divine. You expect to meet your needs. You expect to meet your needs in the old systems of control, in the old systems of control. The idea that one must get there first, the idea that one must get there first, lest he be left behind, lest he be left behind. You control others' behavior. You control others' behavior in the belief that you are safer, in the belief that you are safer if they are controlled by you. If they are controlled by you, you deny the divine in your own actions. You deny the divine in your own actions, in your own agreements, in your own agreements, without an awareness, without an awareness that you do so, that you do so. In this class, we hope to do two things. In this class, we hope to teach you two things, the realization of the inherent divine, the realization of the inherent divine, as may be known by you, as may be known by you, and what stands in the way, and what stands in the way of this realization, of this realization. Each of you comes to a birth. Each of you comes into a birth with an awareness of requirements, with an awareness of your requirements for the life lived, for the life lived. You challenge yourselves in all ways. You challenge yourselves in all ways to learn the lessons you chose to learn through, to learn the lessons you chose to learn through. You have control. You have control over where your feet go, over, over where your feet go on the path before you, on the path before you. are always in choice in one way or another. You are always ways in choice in one way or another now in the upper room. Now, in the upper room, the requirements for your growth are somewhat altered. The requirements for your growth are somewhat altered because you are not choosing in fear, because you are not choosing in fear, not allowing the egoic structure, personality structure, and not allowing the egoic structure or personality structure to be your director in the ways you have been. In the ways you have been, you begin to rely on the monad. You begin to rely on the monad or the true self or the true self or the Christ itself or the Christ itself or the eternal self or the eternal self to become your director to become your director now to become the director now to become the director is actually the claim we have offered you is actually the claim we have offered you i have come 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 which is the announcement of the monad which is the announcement of the monad in an articulated state in an articulated state beyond the old frame of personality beyond the old frame of the personality, the reliance on the monad, the reliance on the monad, the light within, if you prefer, the light within, if you prefer, actually supports you, actually supports you in releasing the need for control, actually supports you in releasing the need for control in the ways that you utilize control, in the ways that you have utilized control. You don't become complacent. You don't become complacent or passive or passive as much as comprehend, as much as comprehend comprehend the requirements of the moment, 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 which will always lead you, which will always lead you to the higher choice that's available to you always, which will always lead you, lead you to the higher choice that is available to you always, underline always, underline always, there is always a higher choice. There is always a higher choice. Now, some of you think, now some of you think, oh, that's very difficult. Oh, that's very difficult. I can imagine myself figuring out the higher choice. I can imagine myself figuring out the higher choice and doing my best to meet that need and doing my best to meet that need. That is actually not what happens. That is actually not what happens. You've begun to flow. You have begun to flow in a higher river, in a higher river, a higher field, or a higher field where your needs are met by you, where your needs are met by you through the agreement to them, through the agreement to them. You are not in a cafeteria line. You are not in a cafeteria line saying one of these and two of those, saying one of these or two of those. You're actually being received. You are actually being received by your own requirements for growth, by your own requirements for growth through the life that you are living through the life that you are living. You're not detailing the outlines. You are not detailing the outlines of what you should receive, of what you should receive because you have an awareness, because you have an awareness that the divine is all things, that, div that the divine as all things has more awareness, has more awareness than the small self structure does than the small self structure does because it is not the small self, because it is not the small self who is an articulation in the upper room 
who is an articulation in the upper room, the idea of figuring it out. The idea of figuring it out falls away, falls away. You don't have to figure it out. You don't have to figure it out when you simply know, when you simply know. Now, true awareness and knowing. Now, true awareness and knowing are ways of operating, are ways of operating in the upper room, in the upper room. True awareness simply means True awareness simply means that the articulated state of being, that the articulated state of being, which is in and of itself awareness, which in and of itself, uh, which is in and of itself awareness is in its agreement to God, is in its agreement to God, not the personality structure's idea of God. Not the personality structure's idea of God, but the source of all things, but the source of all things when you are in the river and of the river. When you are in the river and of the river, you're not seeking to find the river. You are not seeking to find the river. Most of you are on the shore. Most of you are on the shore saying, take me to the river, saying, take me to the river, and then looking for the next thing to conquer, and then looking for the next thing to conquer that you think might bring you there that you think might bring you there when you are in the river. When you are in the river, you're in the upper room. You are in the upper room in the awareness of source, in the awareness of source that is in its own completeness, that is in its own completeness, which really means without lack, which really means without lack in some ways what you have done. In some ways, what you have done is you have transferred your idea of lack, is you have transferred your idea of lack upon your idea of God, upon your idea of God. There are things God cannot and will not do for me. There are things God cannot and will not do for me. Paul interrupts the teaching. Paul interrupts the teaching, but I believe that that is so. But I believe that that is so. It is my job to take care of myself in ways I must. It is my job to take care of myself in ways that I must. And yes, Paul, that is true. And yes, Paul, that is true. But you are still operating from an agreement to separation. But you are still operating from an agreement to separation, which is not the reality, which is not the reality of the upper room, of the upper room. Of course, you bathe yourself. Of course, you bathe yourself. If you take care of the needs of the day, you take care of the needs of the day from the upper room, from the upper room, but you are not strategizing how this is done, but you are not strategizing how this is done, planning to get there first, planning to get there first, lest someone else come before you, lest someone else come before you and you're not telling God, and you are certainly not telling God what its job is, what its job is. The ocean knows it's the ocean. The ocean knows it's the ocean. The divine knows itself as all things. The divine knows itself and knows itself as all things as all things and your agreement to that and your agreement to that places you in the river places you in the river or the ocean if you prefer or the ocean if you prefer in this awareness in this awareness of source itself of source itself paul interrupts again Paul interrupts again, but I can imagine people saying, but I can imagine people saying, what does that feel like and how do I know? What does that feel like and how do I know when you're in the ocean? When you are in the ocean, you know you're in the ocean, you know you're in the ocean, you don't question it, you don't question it, the presence of the inherent divine, the presence of the inherent divine, inherent divine, it is as all things, that is all things does not need to be sought, does not need to be sought as much as agreed to, as much as agreed to. Now, if you think the ocean isn't there, now, if you think the ocean isn't there, it makes sense that you would struggle. It makes sense that you would struggle. But if you understand that the ocean is there, but if you understand that the ocean is there or the upper room is there or the upper room is there and can be aligned or agreed to and can be aligned or agreed to, you simply align, you simply align to what is already true, to what is already true. Now, again, if we have said, now again, as we have said, as we have said, your challenge, your challenge is the denial of the divine, is the denial of the divine, but you're already in the ocean, but you are already in the ocean, you just don't know it, you just 
don't know it. You have codified your claims of experience. You have codified your claims of experience through the material realm through the material realm. And you can't comprehend that you can't comprehend that the material realm is also of spirit. That the material realm is also of spirit, just operating in a more dense form, just operating in a more dense form when we lift you to the upper room. When we lift you to the upper room, we are not taking you any place truly. We are not taking you any place truly, the monad itself. The monad itself, or the God within you, or the God within you already expresses in the upper room, already expresses in the upper room. So it is frankly a process. So it is finally, finally, a process of re-identification, of re-identification of who and what you are, of who and what you are, the alignment, the alignment that is present there, that is present there, that reclaims you, that reclaims you in the high octave, in the high octave, the metaphors we use, the metaphors we use of lifting, of lifting are actually accurate, are actually accurate because the field that you hold, because the field that you hold in a rearticulated state, in a rearticulated state is vibrating at a higher level, is vibrating at a higher level than you've been accustomed to, than you have been accustomed to your realization of matter from this higher place. Your realization of matter from this higher place reclaims matter, reclaims matter in the higher strata, in the higher strata, because that is the alignment you hold, because that is the alignment you hold. You stop trying to fix everything. You stop trying to fix everything, and you start to realize what is, and you start to realize what is. Realization is knowing. Realization is knowing, and the knowing of the one before you, and the knowing of the one before you as of God, as of God actually supports the realization, actually supports the realization of the one before you, of the one before you. You don't do this to realize them for themselves. You don't do this to realize them for themselves. Their growth is their opportunity. Their growth is their opportunity, but your claim for them, but your claim for them, I know who you are in truth. I know who you are in truth, what you are in truth, how you serve in truth. I see you in the upper room. I see you in the upper room is your own realization of them, is your own realization of them, and consequently the alignment you hold for them, and consequently the alignment you hold for them supports their own realization at this level, supports their own realization at this level. You are claiming the monad in articulated state. You are claiming the monad in its articulated state, which is in the upper room, which is in the upper room, which is, you can call it, which is, as you can call it, Christ consciousness, Christ consciousness, or the awareness of the inherent divine, or the awareness of the inherent divine as all things, as all things, because you are not claiming them in separation, because you are not claiming them in separation. They cannot be separate. They cannot be separate. There is no mumbo jumbo here. There is no mumbo jumbo here. It's a very simple teaching. It is a very simple teaching, a vibrational accord and truth, a vibrational accord and truth, a translated experience, a trans translated experience, behold, I make all things new. Behold, I make all things new as an experience renown and reseen, is an experience renown and reseen in the high strata, in the high strata of the field you hold now, of the field you hold now. Understand that we said now. Understand that we said now, the field you hold now, the field you hold now, each time you make an invocation. Each time you make an invocation of truth, I know who I am, what I'm serve. I know who I am, what I am, how I serve, you are claiming this alignment. You are claiming this alignment. You come to a time or experience. You come to a time or experience when the intonation of this language, 
when the intonation of this language is not required at all, is not required at all because it has been claimed by you, because it has been claimed by you and recounted in itself, and in other words, recounted itself as your experience. And what that means is, and what that means is, you don't wind the clock, you don't wind the clock that is ticking well, that is ticking well, there is no need, there is no need. You may think of this as winding the clock if you like. You may think of this is winding the clock if you like, but in fact what it is, but in fact what it is is a claim of truth, is a claim of truth in verbal resonance, in verbal resonance, in energetic resonance, in energetic resonance that supports an alignment, that supports an alignment to a strata vibration, to a strata of vibration that is always present, that is always present but has been ignored by you, but has been ignored by you. You're receiving coordinates in these attunements. You are receiving coordinates in these attunements to support the field, to support the field in its own integration, in its own integration to the higher strata that is present now, to the higher strata that is present now. Again, we use the word now intentionally. Again, we use the word now intentionally. The field that you hold has been altered. The field that you hold has been altered, but the frames that you've been experiencing are running through, but the frames that you have been experiencing your reality to are being renowned, are being renowned. And this is a collective act. And this is a collective act. When we spoke to you the other night, when we spoke to you the other night and told you that the music had stopped and told you that the music had stopped and you were living in an echo of an old song and you were living in an echo of an old song, we are speaking to what is actually occurring now. We are speaking to what is actually occurring now. The new music is present in the high octave. The new music is present in the high octave and you are in a release of the old and you are in a release of the old that is a claim that is a claim of freedom of freedom for the monad itself for the monad itself to move into its expression as humanity to move into its expression as humanity notice we said humanity notice we said humanity and not you in a singular fashion and not you in a singular fashion when everyone is lifted when everyone is lifted when the dance floor itself is lifted when the dance floor itself is lifted when the new music plays when the new music plays there is a new experience of being there is a new experience of being. Now Paul wants illustrations. Now Paul wants illustrations. He wants it to resemble a movie he can describe. He wants it to resemble a movie he can describe and then feel solved and then feel solved in this teaching, in this teaching, what occurs, Paul? What occurs, Paul, is actually beyond your recognition, is actually beyond your recognition. It's already happening. It is already happening. It's a new claim of being. It is is a new claim of being that is present on this plane, that is present on this plane, that is actually claiming what is, that is actually claiming what is in the face of what has never been, in the face of what has never been, the vibration of truth, the vibration of truth as is now present, as is now present, releases the lies releases the lies that you have known yourselves through, that you have known yourselves through, now the small self that is you. Now the small self that is you wants to claim, wants, wants to claim this in different ways, in different ways, point a finger at this or that, point a finger at this or that, we have been deceived, we have been deceived, friends, you have deceived yourselves, Friends, you have deceived yourselves. No one is deceiving you. No one is deceiving you, the reality that you are present for. The reality that you are present for, you are contributing to, you are contributing to. The dance floor is full. The dance floor is full. You know the dances you've been taught. You know the dances you've been taught. You're all on the same dance floor. You're all on the same dance floor playing out different ways of experiencing life. 
playing out different ways of experiencing life when the truth is known as who and what you are, when the truth is known as who and what you are. I know who I am in truth. I know who I am in truth. The fun house mirror is gone. The fun house mirror is gone. The distorted reflections are gone. The distorted reflections are gone. And the dance floor is not what it once was. And the dance floor is not what it once was was what comes in its place. What comes in its place is a new recognition of being, is a new recognition of being, of truly being, of truly being, the idea of selfishness, the idea of selfishness, the idea of deceit, the idea of deceit, the idea that you must get there first, the idea that you must get there first, that you must win the argument, that you must win the argument or wage the war or wage the war cannot be held, cannot be held at the level of vibration, at the level of vibration of the monad, of the monad rearticulation. Rearticulation is the process of being renowned, is the process of being renowned. You're all part of this. You are all part of this, and humanity is at the first stages, and humanity is at the first stages of the process it is undergoing, of the process it is undergoing. It is not terribly graceful. It is not terribly graceful because you're used to the old music, because you're used to the old music, and it is no longer playing, and it is no longer playing, and you're bumping into one another, and you're bumping into one another and pointing fingers and pointing pointing fingers and wanting the music to be what you think it should be and wanting the music to be what you think it should be. And it can and will not. And it can and will not. You have chosen at a higher level. You have chosen at a higher level that humanity itself, that humanity itself will survive its own cataclysm, will survive its own cataclysm. Underline the word own. Underline the word own. Your own cataclysm. So your own cataclysm means your own need for destruction, your own need for destruction and rebirth and rebirth. Now the destruction that we see before you. Now the destruction that we see before you is in fact a destruction of artifice, is in fact a destruction of artifice, of fear, of fear. It is to be celebrated. It is to be celebrated what has been known only in fear, but what has been known only in fear or has been so informed by fear or has been so informed by fear that it carries that energy, that it carries that energy at its spine, at its spine will be renowned and in a higher octave and in a higher octave. It cannot be translated to the upper room. It cannot be translated to the upper room in its current state, in its current state. Now the truth of your being, now the truth of your being is what is lifting to the upper room, is what is lifting to the upper room. And the truth of anything is what is lifted. And the truth of anything is what is lifted to the higher octave, to the higher octave, through the act of transposition, through the act of transposition or lifting to the higher octave or lifting to the higher octave that we have been teaching you, that we have been teaching you the promise of this for humanity. The promise of this for humanity is not only do you survive, is not only do you survive, you are made new, you are made new, rearticulated, rearticulated, but you don't know peace, but you don't know peace in this current state. In this current state, it remains an idea. It remains an idea primarily based in the absence of war, and you understand yourselves only at war, only at war because you have known war so terribly long, so terribly long that it has become the basis for reality you live in, that it has become the basis for a reality you live in. Each of you says yes. Each of you says yes to the journey before you, to the journey before you. And the journey before you is a great one. And the journey before you is a great one and a blessing and a blessing and wonderful and wonderful in its own experience, in its own experience. When we tell you each, when we tell you each that every challenge must be seen as opportunity, that every challenge must be seen as opportunity, not opportunity to get your way. <coughs> 
not opportunity to get your way, to blame the one beside you, <coughs> to blame the one beside you, but opportunity to know the self anew, but opportunity to know the self anew, you will comprehend this more fully. You will comprehend this more fully. We must say these words after us, if you wish. You may say these words after us, if you wish. My body. I am word through my body. Word, I am word. I am word through my vibration. Word, I am word. I am word through my knowing of myself as word. Word, I am word. I am word through all that I see before me. Word, I am word. Word, I am word. I am reclaiming the inherent divine in all matter, in all matter, word, I am word, and I am choosing this, and I am choosing this as the gift that it is, as the gift that it is, I know, I am truth. I know who I am in truth, I know what I am in truth, I know how I serve in truth. I am free. I am free. I am free. I am in the upper room. I have come. I have come. I have come. Behold, I make all things new. It will be so. God is, God is, God is. God is, God is, God is, and allow yourself now. And allow yourself now to move into oneness, to move into oneness with the source of all things, with the source of all things, I am in the ocean of God. I am in the ocean of God. I am in the field of the divine. I am in the upper room. I am in the upper room. God is, God is, God is. God is. God is. God is. Now we will say this for each of you. On this day we claim, hear these words, that all who hear these words, all who say yes to them, all who say yes to them will be renowned, will be renowned in perfect ways, in perfect ways, in perfect awareness, in perfect awareness of the inherent divine of the inherent divine in support of its own realization, in support of its own realization. We say yes to each of you. We say yes to each of you, to say yes to yourselves, as you say yes to yourselves. Indeed you have come. Indeed you have come. God is, God is, God is. God is, God is. God is, thank you for your presence. Stop now, please, stop now, please.